Hello, today I'm here with a new video and also new hair because I think this is going to be my first video with my new hair. I have colored it orange, um, but I didn't. Okay, I asked you on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do because I ask you for advice on Instagram and I asked. Sorry. Um, if I should dye my hair orange and a lot of you said yes so here I am with kind of orange hair I didn't bleach my hair before because I have such a light blonde hair so I just put in orange color and this is like this washout color that washes out in 12 to 15 washes but I think I will put in like a color bomb or something and try to keep it orange and yeah that's all about hair I think I like it what do you think this video was not going to be about my hair but yes I am going to test out a new palette this is a first impression and I also got your help with this on my Instagram and I have bought three new monochromatic palettes from Colourpop and yes I said that I didn't want this but now I have it. Long story short it looked amazing in real life so I bought it. Um, and I asked which one you wanted to see first and this one, the Blue Moon palette. So I am doing the Blue Moon palette today. It will come in first impression on all the other palettes of course. So this is the Blue Moon and I have heard some mixed reviews about this. The front look like this. I really like this. I really like this front because I really like moons and stuff. And it has nine colors and of course it is a monochromatic blue. I think they did a pretty good job with this. This one is... It's got like a tint of blue. So yeah, I... I'm not 100% sure what I want to do, but I think I know what I want to do. First, I want to take off this plastic. So, I will just zoom you in, or I will scooch a little bit closer, and then we're going to do something. And I... I'm not going to swatch it because I usually don't swatch, because I just don't. So, yeah. We are just going to hop into this little blue moon palette. And like with the hair, I don't know if I just look straight up ginger or if I look like a orange head. If it looks orange or if I just look like a ginger, I don't really care. So, okay, stop talking about the hair. I think I will start with this starry eyed, this one. And put it in my crease and I hope that my brushes are clean. No, I am not good at cleaning my brushes. I'm super good with cleaning my sponge, but the good cleaning things stops there. So yeah, I'm going to take this in my crease and I really hope that this is some kind of bright. And I'm thinking about when I have done first impression of the other two palettes that I'm going to do a palette bingo with all my monochromatic palettes from Colourpop. I have the pink and the green one as well. And I want to do more looks with these. It's just... I haven't got the time yet. Or the time and time, but... It's going to be so fun now to see how my hair is working with colors <laughs> because with my blonde hair like everything matches but now with this ginger orange we will see I don't really know if I care if it's not suits my hair because I have never cared about that before so why should I start now I actually really like this color it feels like it keeps it's like blue, some like this lighter, especially blue and purple colors can be like a little bit more muddy and not that bright, but I think that this is still bright, so that is good. And then I think I will go in with, maybe that, okay, 
I am not sure at all what I want to do. Uh, I think I will go in with Fine China, this one, and put it in my crease as well. With a little bit more pointer brush. Tap it off and then put it in my crease as well, just to deepen down the crease. And I have a little pain in my wisdom tooth. <sighs> I hate my tooth right now. I have all my four wisdom teeth, toe teeth, and one of them isn't. It is not all the way up, so sometimes it grows a little bit, and like my cheek and everything swells up. And my gums hurt and yeah but as long as it is a healthy tooth I am not going to pull it out because I am afraid to have needles in my mouth I'm not afraid of needles like <laughs> on the rest of my body but in my mouth no thank you so as long as the tooth is healthy and doesn't do anything with the other tooth, uh, it's going to be there. I can have a little bit of pain now and then, but I am not going to take it out if I if it isn't necessary because yeah, then I have to be sedated because nobody puts sharp things in my mouth okay <laughs> such a long side story how do we feel about this then i think it's pretty okay and now i am wondering because i think i want to take this one and have like a pretty smoked out is it smoked out if it's light like in my inner corner really have it popping in my inner corner but then I don't know if I want to have a shimmer next to it I don't think I do but then I don't know what to do or maybe I just put a shimmer next to it I think I'll take cloud in cloud in cloud in cloud in cloud 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 it should be cloud in okay I'm going to take this dark shade and put it on my outer corner so far I am super impressed. I have only used matte shades, but I really like them. And it feels like people... First when they came out with this monochromatic palette, it came out like one palette and then a couple months later the next palette. And that felt like a good pace. Now it's like... Does it? It was the green in April, I think, and then it was like every every, every week a new monochromatic palette, and I'm like, slow down. I think the orange is the newest one, or is it the? They came out. I don't think they called it a monochromatic palette. This strawberry. Strawberry and cream. Strawberry milkshake, strawberries and cream. I really don't know. I don't think they called it a monochromatic palette, but, but it was like this nine pan. And I'm like, color pop, please slow down. Okay, I haven't filmed for a while, so I don't know what to talk about. I never do when I doesn't when I haven't filmed for some days. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but this week. I think this video is going up tomorrow because I really want to show you my hair and I have no other video to put up, I think. And <laughs> it's Saturday today and I have worked I think over 50 hours this week and I have been so tired, so tired and I really wish that I not going to work that much for such a long time 
Okay. Now I don't know if I want to take... I think I want to take a Shimmer, but I don't know if I want to take Mad About You, this one, or Tide Pool. Or Build you. Okay, I have to swatch. I know that I want to use this Lumi. Maybe not now when I swatch it. I wanted to use this in my inner corner, but this is maybe not... Yeah, maybe this works with inner corner. But then I don't know which one I want to use next to it. Do you even see shit? Because I don't think this mad about you is too dark. Okay, I want to take one of these. Okay, I'm going to take Tide Pool, this one, and put it on like, I think my whole lid until here and then just take Lumi and build it up. So I think I'll try it without any glitter glue first and if it doesn't, it's the way I want it, I will go in with a glitter glue and we will see how that works. This felt really creamy, so I really hope for the best. And yes, I think we can all agree that this works without any glitter glue. I have nothing against shadows that need a glitter glue because I don't think they make it, it's a bad shade because it needs a glitter glue. Not in my opinion at least. But I think this is really sticking on here. Sticking on here, yeah. Good words. Okay, I like this shade. I'm going to go in a little bit with this dark blue just to have a little bit more of the dark blue out here and also make a better gradient. But I feel like this shimmery one, this tide pool, can lay over a darker sh sh shade as well. Almost a darker shimmer. A darker shade. It feels like my crease isn't that fun that I want it to be, but sometimes I just need my eyebrows. Okay, I will go in with Tide Pool a little bit more. I really like this Tide Pool. I really like this clawed in, clued in. I know that you want to be funny, Colourpop, but... English is not my first language, so sometimes I don't get what's fun. I think I am satisfied like this. I think though I want to go in with this fine shiner. Again in my crease, just a little bit. And just put it in here. Just to deepen it down a little bit more my crease. I think I'm satisfied with a lid like this. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye, fix my base and my brows, and then we're going to do the under eyes and put this in the inner corner. And I really hope it felt very like sheer when I just swatched it, but I really hope that I can build something up. Maybe I have to put something else down under it. But I hope not. So I will fix the other eye, take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then we fix the under eyes together. So, okay, for my under eyes, I want. I'm doing like this boring thing every damn time. So I'm going to take fine shiner, this one, and put it on my lower lash. And I think the whole way. And I am a little bit sorry for doing this for like every look I'm doing but I just like to keep it cohesive and I actually think that I want to put this like the whole way because I don't know how much this Lumi is going to be visible if I just put that one down so I'm going to take a Mathan Shana and really pop it in the whole way and I think I have to like put it here as well 
Yes, I'm being super concentrated right now. Like that, because I think this will... If I take the Lumi and I spray it, I think I can get like it's popping in my inner corner. I really hope at least. Time for this Lumi one and... Okay, maybe this was a bad brush for this. I feel like in every Colourpop palette, is a, it is one shade that you are like not supposed to be like this. So I'm going to spray this. And I'm going to pop it in my inner corner and really hope that it's like... Okay. I like what I see this for. I feel that this is like one of these like more topper shades. So because I had fine china underneath, it's like it shines through, of course. But I think I really like this. I think it was a good choice. What do you think? I think I like this. And here I think I didn't have as much of the fine china, so it's a little bit lighter in this eye, or maybe it's just because it feels a little bit more like a duochrome or something. Okay, I think I like this. So I will put something in my waterline, and I think I either take a blue. Or a white, maybe? No, I think I will take something blue. I'll put on mascara and a lipstick and then I will be back and tell you what my first impression with the Blue Moon palette is. So, let me fix everything and then I come back again. So, this is the finished look for my waterline. I took Prance from Colourpop and for my lips I took Aftershock lipstick also from Colourpop. So, I am all Colourpop. <laughs> So this is my first impression with the Blue Moon palette and I really like this look. I think me and Blue are getting closer and closer together, if I'm going to be honest. I like this. I have used 5 out of 9 shades and I like all the shades I've tried. This one I think this... I don't really like topper shades that much but I have nothing against them and I think this can look so cool on different eyeshadows. This one was really good. It stayed this color I think. It was true to pan. This one was so good. I really like it. It was amazing without a glitter glue. This one I also like. I like that it's pretty intense and this fine china I like as well. So I like all the colors I've tried and it's going to be so fun to play with this more and maybe do something super simple and like only take this dark blue and this one. I don't know but I am... I like this palette. I think this is a fun idea, this monochromatic palette, but I think that Colourpop should maybe slow it down a little bit because it's so many monochromatic palettes right now so it's hard to keep up especially for me and my low buy so yeah i really hope you like this first impression with the blue moon palette and i really hope that you like my new hair i like it and it's going to be so fun to see how it matches different eye looks and i think it goes so good with the blue maybe with not with the lips but I don't really care. It's just that my hair, I don't know what to do with it because it feels like it's all over. But yeah, I really hope you like this video and it's going to come first impression with the other two monochromatic palettes and I'm going to make a big palette bingo with all the monochromatic palettes I have. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I would love to hit a thousand subscribers. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!